This is a video made uh, in response to how difficult it is to edit this simulation to add new chemistry scenario. So based on the example of adding a new uh, question type, so you have to come here. Let's see. Uh, question. Okay. Uh, how do I add a new question? Okay, so the simulation starts off with a combo box. So this will be the first thing that I will try to add. The combo box. So the combo box, you can add your example. Uh, we say let, let's say it's at the back. Uh, and the example wanted was hydrogen peroxide <coughs> so I'll add hydrogen peroxide the word over here as an option then it will appear <coughs> in the combo box so you generate it again and now you can see that in the combo box you have a new option but the option does not do anything so you need to script it to turn on the rest of the code so the first thing you probably need to do is to look at the custom pages so I've already done some layouts <coughs> so layout lay cells lay three cells question 9 question so you can see that maybe I need to uh, copy this and rename this as <coughs> lay 4 atoms for question 14 so this doesn't this is just a, a text so you need to change it here to reflect the true function name so lay cells 4 atom question 14 so R is the radius of the circle of which if let's say you're not too fussy then I do not really need this you do not need to reposition it so I'm going to try to just lay in a straight line so there is no need for all the cos and sine so I'm just going to see this as <coughs> I need a center so maybe say um, I need to decipher maybe say each one is half so maybe minus half minus half oh sorry this will be zero because there's a y and this will be plus half and then this will be zero and so forth so <coughs> maybe say this one is 1.5 and it will be 0 then this will be minus 1.5 and 0 let's say this is my configuration so now it would appear that I need <coughs> let's just let's just run so to test this code and see what I'm doing, so I need to come here, go to the combo box, <coughs> start a new <coughs> if statement. So I'm going to add this one to here. So if the question option is hydrogen peroxide. Then I will run the new script, which is lay cell uh, question 14. Right? Okay, then it will be. I may not want to have option anymore. And yeah, I think that should do it because this is the last question, so you do not need to lay 
So you can have an option. Option 12, option 13, option 14, let's say option 14. So I also need a, a new way to check option 14. So option 14, <coughs> so option 13 is here. So I need to copy this, rename this as 14 so that you can decipher what you're trying to do. So this is question 14. Question will be 14 then. Lay electrons, okay. This is to a function to lay the electrons. So this denotes all the electron numbers. So this is the number of electrons. So hydrogen peroxide will be, <coughs> so first thing, Hydrogen peroxide will be O O H H. So the first one is on on the on the left. First left is H is O. The first right is another O. Then on the third hydrogen. The third one on the right side is uh, hydrogen and the fourth one on the left is also hydrogen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna order them in this way. <coughs> so the number hydrogen will be oxygen will be six I think and then hydrogen is one. Okay. Hydrogen is one. So this is just to let you know that this is actually 6, 6, 1, 1. And you do not need the fifth one. So you can cancel out the fifth one. These are to turn on to show it. This one you do not need. Okay, so there are no holes. So crosses will do. The symbol, the first one is O. Second one is O. Third is H and H. So then this will then show the text. <coughs> so C, I think is uh, O, O, H, H. And then do not need this. Uh, okay, this can remain the same. Okay. So this is the option 14. So let's compile and see what happens. <coughs> okay, so 6, 6. One one. Uh, okay, this is not showing up. A H on. <coughs> okay, so I need to come here. So there's a third on third. In this one, turn on for thirteen, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. So I'm going to try to do. Uh, to improve the script so greater than 8 so that the question 14 will appear <coughs> okay so now it's appearing okay good so <coughs> okay the the positioning uh, we need to improve a bit so maybe I will make the hydrogen a bit smaller so if you remember um, how did I make it big enough? So lay question 14. Okay. So these are the two oxygen. I will make the hydrogen a little bit smaller. Uh, the size is arbitrary. This do you need to define a, a smaller area? I don't think you need. So I'm gonna keep it to default. Okay. Okay. Uh, doesn't look too bad, I think.
it looks okay, right? So let me check with the teacher whether this is acceptable. So maybe I need to move it a bit further away. One point seven. And let's see. Move the O a bit further away. And if it is further, this should be even further. Let's take a look. All right, looks better. Okay, so now that we have gotten the positions of the molecules, Rightly. So now the next thing you need to do is you need to lay the atoms correctly. So if I have laid it, because this one is <coughs> more complicated, because I am hiding, I'm hiding parts here and here where the where the intersection are, it's because we need to detect a zone where it's in between a shared space and a personal space of the atom so <coughs> unfortunately this is a bit more difficult you need to <coughs> go to the atoms and turn on oh they are already turned on okay uh, I need to see the numbers so turn on the numbers to see the numbers this is for purely for for debugging <coughs> because if you don't turn this on you'll be guessing what numbers are affecting the interaction being captured <coughs> so I need the 4 to be to be shown <coughs> Okay, so here the words appear to be too big. Let me try to adjust the size. Ah, uh, there are no fonts attached to it. Mm. So I'm gonna for font. Uh, let's make it a bit smaller. Okay, I can vaguely see the numbers. Is this the correct one? Ok, 
Okay. Okay, so with this you can roughly guess the, the numbers. Uh, the yellow, let me see why this yellow. Turn this back to black, so this is the red, I guess. Okay, so I can see the numbers. How about for hydrogen peroxide? Okay, so I use a trick. To arrange the <coughs> interaction zones. So for this one, for the first uh, atom, so from here to here will be personal, shared, personal, shared, and personal. So using this logic, I will then uh, look at the check so this check I need to copy Let me double check okay first I need to lay them first lay them first lay them first so lay okay this makes the position the this is to control the width so um let me Bring this out to the other side. Okay, so what do I need? Mm, so zero to three, okay, correct. Five. Five, six, five to eleven. Five to eleven is shed. So I use a factor to bring the <coughs> values um, into the shed position and <coughs> then thirteen onwards. To maybe say 19. These are the personal, then from 21 to 27. <coughs> this will be the shape, so you need to add the factor. And then um, from 29 to 31 this will be the one for the personal okay so this is how I've been controlling the interaction zones so let me bring this in and let you see so you can see that mm, oh, okay so it's not laying this correctly because in question in question um lay cells 14 okay lay cells 14 okay lay the first atom so these are all the various <coughs> to be excluded so one four uh, 5 cat 7 will not be excluded so it has to be deleted uh, 12 is excluded to 12 then uh, 20 and then um, 28 okay can let's try that again looks wrong let me check why uh, this is not to be affected this is personal space 
this is to be 26 to 27 Okay, so these are all the redundant ones. <coughs> okay, this is still wrong. Uh -huh, okay, this came out as vector. Okay, this looks right now. Okay, so these are all the catch zones. Okay, so uh, the first atom is laid correctly. So similarly, we'll do the same for the second. So the second one, zero to three, let's see. Okay, zero to three, and this one is insufficient, sufficient, so we need five to let's say eleven. Then I need to copy this for thirteen to let's say nineteen. Nineteen. Then um, need to do this again. So this is for twenty one to twenty seven, and then this will be the shed. This will be the shed space in between the first O and the second O. So we need one more. Twenty nine, let's say to thirty first. <coughs> okay. And what is to be excluded? Will be let's see four. This is to move it very far away and twelve. Then I need again. I need to. Maybe twenty. This is to make sure that the interaction points are not those that are in between the electron shell, so that it's ambiguous whether it is shared or a personal electron. So I, I need to do this manually, unless there is a clever way to do this uh, automatically. If not, this unfortunately needs to be done until somebody steps in to improve the code okay so now this is more or less better now okay so I'll do the gain for 3 and 4 so uh, okay okay so the third atom which is uh, which is this third mm. here? Okay, so generate again. something is not right I need to okay so maybe this one needs to be higher uh, okay, wait, um, okay I because the the electron rows are not showing up so I need to go to lay electrons and specify ah uh, because this is in between all right okay so i i need to this is uh, okay let's let's put it here 
this is to entertain the question for hydrogen peroxide so it will inherit a very small screen so these are the start and end position of my line space to control the positions of the electron rows so let's see uh, let's see whether this works hmm. Hmm, okay so I need to add so that it it is restricted <sighs> okay so now it's inside the, the, the zone so this lay electron actually controls the this lay electron actually put, controls the y position of the electron in the rows okay so that should that should do it. <coughs> so now going back to lay lay atoms. So now I will lay I continue laying the third electron. So the lay the third electron. So for my drawing I can see that mm, zero to maybe say two this is the personal then uh, maybe say 4 to 12 is the shed and then maybe say 14 all the way to 31 okay so this is a personal and the electrons to be excluded will be 3 and 13 I think 13 okay, let's see all right it looks pretty nice so finally you need to lay the fourth atom so uh, what I can see is about 18 all right then <coughs> 20, 20 to 28 then 30 31 okay so to be excluded will be 19 and 29 Okay, so looks like we are laying it correctly. So now back to the function check three atoms question 14. The shared, sum of the shared electrons is a variable that I use to detect the number of chloride electrons landing on the shared zone of atom 1 and 2. So <coughs> I'm going to continue with the rest so sum of electron 2 this will be B21 to B27 how do I know okay 
let's look at how I get these two numbers. So <clears throat> this B21, this B27. Okay, 21, 27. So this will be for the shared space between atom 1 and atom 2. So similarly, between atom 1 and atom 3. Atom 1, atom 3. So <coughs> will be A twenty one one A twenty seven and similarly hey, sorry, it's a wrong one. Twenty one to twenty seven. And this will be C four to C twelve. Okay. And then this will be for in between atom one and atom 4 uh, <coughs> so this will be between atom 2 atom 2 and atom 4 okay so I only need <coughs> so this one is for atom 2 so this one be actually into 2 atom 2 V5 will be 11 and this one is D20 to D28 So you don't need this. This one is done. <coughs> so this is D to D28. <coughs> D28, D28. Alright. Okay. Can. Now this is to check for the personal sum of personal electron. So the first one is the sum of the personal electron on the first atom so you'll be a0 to a3 and then 13 then and then uh, 29 231 <coughs> okay how do I get the numbers it's actually here 0 3 13 19 21 31 29 31 <coughs> okay so the second one is the sum of the personal electron okay personal electron for number two will be zero to three again and for this you need to duplicate the code <coughs> because in this case the second 
oxygen has a lot more <coughs> electron in its personal space of which then will be 13 to 19 then Twenty-nine to thirty-one. All right. Okay. So this is a sum of the third electron, which in this case is the <coughs> orange color. <coughs> so it's a zero to two and fourteen to thirty-one. Okay. Sum of the fourth one is zero to. 18 and then uh, 30 31 so this is the way to to count all the shed and some of the electrons within the spaces of the electron or the molecule configuration <coughs> okay so <coughs> Then after you're done with this, you need to come here to check. Of which here you need to check. <coughs> the check currently only have the last one, which was thirteen. So starting from here, uh, question 13, you copy this and paste it here. Okay, eh, did it happen? I got too many question 13 and deleting this. So this is now question 13. So this is question 14 now. So this is for the hydrogen peroxide. <coughs> this will be changed to 14 correspondingly. So this is all done already. So according to the Answer key So it should be two Two, 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 and then 
four, four, zero, zero. So two, two, two. Uh, all the shared space. Okay, and then the personal. <coughs> In this case, it's four, four, zero. Zero. Then it may decide to do a check uh, or something, but if no need, then this is question fourteen incorrect. Okay, so let's test the simulation. Okay. So the answer is uh, okay. There needs to be a shed one, one here, one here, this is a, one here. And then this one is uh, by itself. <coughs> hmm. By itself. And then um, this also has two here and two here and maybe one here. So be careful to drop within the drop zone and this one is over here one one so it will be one one all right all right so this is how you can <coughs> extend the simulation that I've made uh, yeah, so that, that is the internal structure of the sim. Okay. So I hope that I have given you enough information to continue changing the, the simulation. <coughs>